I'd like to show how to rig this character. And rigging the character includes putting in all the controls so the animator could move everything from the fingers to the face to the feet and all that. Okay, so to start, this might look a little creepy, but I have the character's body copied and I have several different expressions. You can see here's a smile, um, an O sound, the mouth open, just kind of an, uh, you can see the eyebrows down with the same mad, okay? And then I have uh, three more just kind of uh, neutral poses. And if we look here, if I open this up, um, this one's called Andy. Okay, that's, that's the character that we're gonna be using. And these are the blend shapes, okay? Now, these are never really meant to be seen except for by the rigger. Okay, you can see that I also have it on a layer over here that I could hide that and no one would ever know that those are there. Okay, so what are they there for? Well, I feel like with the face, there's a lot of kind of complex movements that happen. So the face is kind of done differently than the entire rest of the body. So before I add any controls to the body, I'm gonna kind of do the different facial expressions and I have it kind of started here for us. So if I click on Andy right now, you can see that Andy has nothing going on as far as the controls for the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these first. Then I'm going to shift select this one. Okay, and it's important that I do it in that order. So I'm gonna select all of these and then this one. Then I'm gonna come up here to the rigging menu set and I'm gonna do deform blend shape. When I do that, if I, click, if I click on nothing and then I click back on Andy here, I can see that blend shape is now in our inputs in the channel box. And if I click on this, here's all the different shapes, okay? Well, well what, let's see what happened. So if I, once again, click on this, I can go to smile, the word smile, middle mouse click, which is the wheel, and drag it to the right. And you can see that, um, goes like that. Now this down here, that's the tongue of the character and the teeth and the gums coming through. So let's not worry about that right now. Here's angry. And you can see that wouldn't make much sense, but I could have that brows down and a smile. Okay, so you can see you can blend these together. Here's open. Here's this expression. And then I have three more that uh, the customs that don't do anything yet. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of show how to work this. So now that we have those on here, I can go up to Window Animation Editor and I can go down to the Shape Editor. And on the Shape Editor, um, that's basically these exact same things, but you can see that they're kind of in this editor here where I can move them. So once again, here's Smile, Angry, okay, Open. and What's cool is I've got two different ways that I could do this. I could go back here and realize that the character, if I move like, let's say custom one, if I made an edit to custom one, like maybe this, maybe I got grabbed this and um, pressed B Get kind of a soft select and, and kind of brought this eyebrow down. Okay, in other words, I'm kind of changing the shape, right? And let's see what happens over here. So if I go custom one, I can see that custom one, it blends into custom one. However, um, it's a little bit more complex because I feel like I've got to get that eyelid to fit over the eye. Right, you can see that it goes down, but now I'd have to make some edits. Okay, so I'm gonna undo that. Okay, and now I could edit it on here, which is pretty cool. So the way that I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna just put custom one all the way up. And if I click edit right here on the shape editor, now I'm editing the blend shape for custom one, and I can do that right here. So I'm just gonna go like this. Okay, so I just selected this face and then I shift selected this one. And now I can kind of bring that down like this. 
maybe scale it a little bit to make it straighter like that. And now I can see that yeah, that's kind of weird that that eyeball is coming through. So I could just maybe shift select these, pull that forward. I've got B for soft select. There we go. Yeah, that, that looks better. And you can see right away, hey, that's cool. Um, and now I can kind of correct the bottom, maybe bringing this up as well. Bring it up a little bit and then scale. Press F to frame up on it. And now maybe even bring this out a little bit. Okay, cool. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, there we go. Maybe, you know, maybe the, the eyelid is coming too far up from the bottom, but I feel like, I mean, you get the point, right? I could do that and um, I could rename this to, I'll call this LI for left eye. Okay. And you can see that that same logic could be done to all this. And if you wanted to make like a, a frowny face, you could do that. Um, and I'm gonna turn edit off because we're done editing that. And you can see that when I was editing it here, okay, I can see that this one, because that was custom one, has now changed. It doesn't matter if it's full 100% um, or zero. This one has changed um, like that because that's what it's essentially blending into. So you've got some kind of other ones that you can kind of play with and um, do. Maybe I'll just make one more uh, blink. So I'll do that on on custom two. Uh, so to do that, I'm just gonna go to edit. I'm gonna put this at 100%. Click on this, put it at 100% and then edit. And now same thing, I'm just gonna kind of grab these. Scale that a little bit, kind of pull that forward. Let's see. There we go. And also down here. There we go. Okay, so now let's see. Ah, yeah, nice. I can have both eyes shut or both eyes open. And now I can rename this R I. Okay, cool. And if I wanted more, um, you know, kind of potential shapes, what I would do is I would take my last one here, okay, the neutral pose, and I just do Control D to duplicate it. And I could make as many of these as I wanted, okay? And I could just kind of keep going, custom five, custom six, custom seven. And, um, but I feel like I would wanna make sure that I have all of the shapes that I want before I select it and go to blend shape. That way it's all kind of in here, okay? It's all here, ready to go. I'm gonna uncheck edit there. And, um, and you could make, once again, as many as you want. And a common thing, that a lot of people do is make different uh, mouth shapes that when people are talking think about the main forms of the mouth like the f shape or the m shape or the o shape um, the way that the mouth moves so that way if the character is doing lip sync you're able to match the reference um, and get all those kind of extreme poses so if i were you know, doing this professionally, I would have significantly more than this, um, maybe even like 40 of them or more um, to try to get as many different expressions as I possibly could. Um, 
And also maybe some asymmetrical ones, like maybe I have just a half of a smile on one side and then um, a half on the other side. That's going to give us more control. And But I feel like just for the sake of this tutorial, I think um, I'll just kind of stop it there and show you how we can kind of integrate these into our character.